Hi, I'm James with the one hour smarthome.com and today we are going to compare the Nest Outdoor Camera versus the Nest IQ Camera. Two great outdoor cameras made by Nest, but they are slightly different and we're going to tell you about each one so you can decide which one is right for you and how they work. All right, so these actually are way more similar than you might think, but the Nest IQ has a higher price point than the Nest Outdoor Camera. And what is the reason for that? Well, there's a couple features that the Nest IQ has that the Nest Outdoor does not have. Now, the biggest one with the Nest uh, IQ is that it's got advanced motion detection and it has a 4K sensor built in. So this has 1080 HD and this has 1080 HD resolution as well, but it has a 4K color sensor and sensor. And what that means is that things are gonna be slightly clearer with the Nest IQ cam than the Nest Outdoor cam, especially when you have uh, color video footage. At night, there's gonna be less of a difference, but that does mean that the sensor is better in this than this one. Now, will most people be able to tell the difference between these two cameras in terms of video footage? No, most likely you will not be able to tell the difference between these two cameras and video footage on your phone at least. If you have the video footage blown up on like your TV or a really large uh, monitor, you'll notice a little bit of the difference, but when you're looking at it on your phone, they are very similar. The other thing that I have noticed with this is that you will be able to really zoom in a little bit more with this. Um, the Nest IQ is also designed to be a built-in camera versus the Nest Outdoor camera is a surface-mounted camera. And what I mean by that is, all right, so we've got the Nest IQ here, okay? It mounts on this base. This base is flush to the wall. So there are no cords or anything seen. And then it's designed so that you drill a hole through the wall and you plug the cord in inside. And uh, we've got some links uh, below to some stuff that you should use with this that allows you to hide those cords. So uh, because you're drilling through the wall, you want to have a way for those cords to exit if it's exiting drywall that doesn't look messy. So you can put an outlet cover plate up top, like a blank, and then run the cord down the wall. And then you can have uh, another cover plate that is used for like TV cords and stuff to allow the camera cord to come out the back side. Um, so that is how this one differs. It's designed for like a built-in clean insulation look from outside. Uh, the other thing is the cord is smaller so you can route it through holes and walls. The cord on this is like three eighths or a little bit smaller than half of an inch. You can drill a pretty small hole and go straight through the wall. Whereas the cord on this is pretty small, but it's got a connector on the end of it that's like almost three quarters of an inch or an inch. So if you're trying to go through brick or even a drywall wall or an exterior wall, you have a really big hole that you would have to patch up with a cord uh, with some sealant. So uh, this, you don't really wanna drill through walls. This is designed to plug into outdoor outlets. So if you have an exterior outlet, you would plug this into an exterior outlet or like a garage, um, maybe you're not as worried about having that big hole there. Um, you could drill a hole and then you'd wanna seal it up with sealant. So either one of these, whatever you do, you want to seal up with sealant. Both of them are gonna give you 24 seven live streaming. Uh, this is gonna use a little bit more data because of the higher resolution, the 4K sensor, than the Nest Outdoor. Um, they both are gonna give you personal alerts, motion alerts, and sound alerts. So if there's person motion or sound alert, um, they're gonna detect that and tell you on your phone. I do really like the Nest app for this because it sorts uh, the alerts really in a convenient way. So you can sort by person. So if you only wanna see alerts when a person was detected, you can do that with this rather than going through like hours and hours and hours of footage. It's really nice to be able to just see when somebody was on your property with this. Uh, they actually both have a built-in microphone and two-way communication. So you can see there's a speaker there on the back and there is a microphone um, and the same thing can be said for the Nest Outdoor camera. So you can actually have a two-way conversation with somebody that's outside. Like if someone's like, ooh, it's, they're pretty durable too. Um, if someone's outside, you can actually say to them, uh, 
hey, get off my lawn or whatever, or maybe it's uh, somebody in your family and you just wanna say hello or whatever, tell them where the keys are, you could do that with this. Um, so that is, that is nice to be able to um, have the two-way communication feature. Uh, in terms of the app, they run on the same app. They have pretty much all the same features in the app other than this has the two-way resolution or the uh, higher resolution with the 4K camera sensor. And this is designed to have a built-in look to it where it mounts directly on the wall and the wire goes out right from the back and then it's covered up when this is mounted. Now you could plug this in to an outdoor outlet. You could do that. That's not a problem. The cord can be outside. It's just you need to make sure that you cover up the outlet so that it doesn't get wet. So we'll put some links to outlet covers below for both of these. And that's important for either one of these. If you decide to install one of these cameras and you're gonna plug it in outside, you really need a way to cover up the outlet so that water does not get in your outlet when you've got these plugged in in short circuit or burn out the outlet. So that's really important for either one of these. We'll put a link to a camera cover that we like that you can get on Amazon below. Um, and it's important to get something that's a larger camera cover. So that's why we've got a recommended one because the power adapters for both of these are fairly large. So you wanna be able to make sure that it'll fit in there um, when you close the door. In terms of which one would I get if I were, uh, you know, I wanted to protect my home, really it comes down to how you're gonna install it. I don't think that the extra cost is necessarily merited for the extra features of the Nest IQ. Um, so it comes down to me for insulation. If you want to have a through wall insulation, maybe you have a brick wall and there's no outlets nearby, or you've got an outdoor wall and there's no outlets nearby on your house on the outside, then I would go with this and route the power cord inside, use a cover plate to give it a nice clean insulation. And that's what I would go for with an SIQ. If you have a outdoor outlet nearby where you're going to mount the camera, I would go with the Nest outdoor camera just because it's easier. The video quality is not that much difference between these two and it is less expensive and you could get a couple of these uh, and put them around your property if you wanted. You can get these in like single packs or three packs and uh, save some money when you get them in a uh, higher number together. Plus it's just easier insulation than drilling through a wall and all that stuff. So this is really nice. They have a nice system for if you wanna mount this outdoor and you've got an outdoor outlet, you don't have to make a mess. You don't have to worry about caulking anything. You can just screw this into the side of your house, run the cord down, plug it into an outlet, put the outlet cover on and you are good to go. You've got a really nice security system for your house with a Nest outdoor camera. So this I would say is easier to install. This is a little bit more complex to install. You might wanna hire a professional to install this just because uh, you're gonna need a really long drill bit to drill through a wall. It's usually gotta be like 12 to 16 inches uh, because the wall cavities in a house are pretty big once you add up insulation, two by fours, the exterior sheathing, if you've got brick or siding on there and then the interior sheathing or drywall. So you gotta know what you're doing if you're gonna drill through a wall with this. If you're gonna just use this one and plug it on outside, no problem, not a big deal uh, because you're just gonna run the cord outside. You just wanna make sure that you pick up that outlet cover. Another thing that you should note with uh, either of these cameras is people always ask me like, do these get stolen? Um, I haven't heard of one yet getting stolen. If you've had one stolen, please, uh, click in the comments below. What you may not know is Nest, uh, if it is stolen, you get it on video and all that stuff, which you should have it on video because it'll be going to the cloud. You'll see who records it, who steals it. Uh, you can call Nest and I believe that they will replace these, but I've never had that issue because who wants to steal a camera when they're on video stealing a camera? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. And the other part of it is, is that means somebody would actually be casing your location. They'd know who you are, what your times are and all that stuff. So. Really in reality, most criminals are not like geniuses. It's a lot of times crime of opportunity. So they don't even notice these cameras are there until it's too late. Maybe it's somebody that has cased your property a couple times. Hopefully you would catch them on camera one of those times and be able to uh, turn that footage over. They both have the same recording plan. Uh, it is $5 per month for five days of recording. And then you can get other plans that have uh, longer durations of recording up to like 10 days or 30 days of footage, but they do cost more. 
Uh, for most people, five days is going to be enough unless you're going out of town. Uh, then you might want to go to one of those higher recording plans. So overall, these are both great cameras. It really comes down to um, do you want to have a cleaner installed look? Are you, do you want to go through that um, having the wires run inside and plugged inside for something like this? It does make the wires a little bit, I guess, more secure for some of you that are worried about that. Or UK having the wires plugged in outside and routed to an outlet cover with the Nest uh, outdoor camera. And people say, well, couldn't somebody just unplug my camera? Yeah, absolutely they could. But that's why we recommend the Nest outdoor outlet cover. And you get the outlet cover and you just lock it up so they can't unplug it. Uh, as well as you can screw in the cord into the side of your house and then they would need a screwdriver or something else to actually remove the camera. Or another option is just route the camera wires in somewhat of an inconspicuous way, which you can do by routing it on the underside of siding, underneath the windowsill, maybe go up through a soffit, put it on a garage, any of that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of tricks that you can do to keep the cord out of harm's way, as well as we do recommend an outlet cover and then just lock it up. You can put a lock on it, just get a little lock and that's gonna deter 99% of those people. And like I said, most people don't even realize that these things are up. Uh, most criminals, it's a crime of opportunity not necessarily the smartest of the bunch. So uh, these are a good way to be able to deter crime, see what's going on, um, and just keep tabs on your home. And uh, generally, really good cameras, high quality. And if you've already got an S thermostat, I do recommend making the investment just so you can keep it all in one ecosystem. Uh, there's also a Nest Lock if you want to go that way in a Nest security system. So thank you. Please uh, like this video. Please subscribe. Please give us any questions down below in the comments. Uh, I'll try and get those answered uh, when I get a chance. And we always appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you next time. Thank you.